This is Chris. And this is Colin. And we are back for the final episode of Creators React to Dark Ages. Yeah. So, Colin, how, what do you think of the build so far? So far, it's awesome. I, this is probably the favorite time of the week for us. We get to sit yeah. down, we get to look at all the builds. And not only look at them, we get to give you some of our insights, some of our mm -hmm. feedback. Again, I wish we could sit down with every single person and just talk to you directly. It's just not possible. We just get way too many entries. But that being said, uh, this is the final installment for this week. So I'm going to dive in really quick into our first build, which is Seth, age nine from Edmonton. This is medieval war. Oh, play on words. That's so awesome. it's medieval, but it's also mid evil. Very clever. So there's, <laughs> there's, there's a few things going on here. So dark ages, medieval makes sense. There's also ninjas in here, which is basically the medieval times of like Asia mm -hmm. uh, or like the Asianic like continent area, which is really cool. Horses, knights. We've also got something interesting. We've got like a triceratops head yeah. or a, a, a dinosaur body in here, which is really interesting. I guess technically dinosaurs are like the OG dark ages. ages. That's like true. That's, that's what they are. But uh, I think there's a dragon in the back right corner mm -hmm. as well. I think that's like a custom dragon build that he did. So there's a lot going on. A lot going on in here. Uh, it seems like like a whole battle was just condensed into a really small area and they just about to clash, which is really cool. The only thing I don't know what it is, is the upper right gray uh, piece. I'm not sure if that's supposed this to be one? a representation of oh. a building or uh, potentially a... It looks like a knight. I don't know, maybe it is a knight. Maybe it's like mm. a... Looks like a golem? Like a golem, yeah. It looks like a micro scale golem with a big staff yeah. and a huge shield, stubby legs, and like the faceplate. So mm. I'm gonna have to assume that's what it is. Maybe taking inspiration off of your uh, iron golem you did for the Wayne family. Oh, in your build. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I I take that. Maybe sure. that's maybe that's where it came from. I kind of think that's might might be what it is. But again, overall, really cool. Lots of detail. Again, small scene, so there is a lot going on. If you have the time, pause it. Definitely take a look and leave any comments for Seth on what your thoughts were for the build. So the next one is Shantae, um, H12, Sherwood Park, pop-up story. Now, man, when we saw this, it was so different because Dark Ages, yes, we had castles, knights, dragons, uh, saving damsels in distress, but Shantae did a book. Of course, we read Dark Ages from a book because that's all we know. So we many didn't stories. Live so many stories. Exactly. So, pop up book, pop up concept, and this one is, uh, of course, a knight rescuing damsel in distress, which turns out to be Sleeping Beauty. So, the concept is there. Once again, we have these fantastic builders who <laughs> draw on their Lego bricks, and man, we feel bad because that's, that's permanently on there. I hope you can wipe that off. But we, we don't encourage doing this. We definitely this. don't encourage it. Um, but for the sake of this build, we really appreciate you guys sacrificing these parts. But yeah, the left, the detail isn't there, but the concept is what we really appreciated. And this was a well, well designed um, build. It surprised us, which was really important. And we liked which direction you took it to. Dark Ages, this was awesome, Shantae. Good job. Very cool. Next, we have Sydney of age six, lives in Edmonton. How to save Cinderella. This isn't this isn't a scene of someone saving Cinderella. Well, it is Anakin, awesomely oh, enough. Of course. Uh, but it's also a how-to guide. How to save Cinderella. What? Step one, have a Cinderella. Step two, have Anakin with a rope. Go back, oh, yeah. go back. There's a rope on the side. Uh, uh. Step three, I'm assuming, climb the rope. And then step four, go and meet. I mean, she obviously didn't actually put the put those instructions. <laughs> but that's how I'm thinking of it when I look that's at awesome. it. And so we have the knight figure, Anakin in this case, which is hilarious, uh, saving Cinderella. Elsa also in this case. But ooh, is that a guardian knight? Is that someone trying to stop our hero from saving Cinderella? So Villain. very cool that there's actually. So this is probably the first scene. He comes up, he's like, whoa, drawbridge comes down. He can see inside, there's a stairway. Can't do it. Guy puts his drawbridge back up. So he goes around to the back and climbs that rope ah, to get in. I really see. cool story, very clever build. I actually really like it uh, overall. And I love that you detailed the inside of the castle as well with stairs. That's something that not everyone would think about doing. 
Uh, so again, overall, Sydney, thank you so much for the submission. What a great build. And we'll move on to our next submission. So we got Tyne, another consistent part of the crew, uh, coming back with another build. This is uh, the life in the Middle Ages. So Middle Ages, Dark Ages, they're kind of in the transition, right? Yeah. Like no power, basically. Um, you got a small little scene with three levels. You have <laughs> a lady dumping uh, excrement. Excrement. <laughs> Their, their waist Ew. can, basically. Ew. Into the streets, that's how they used to do it. You got a rat, and you also have a bird on top there. And yeah, just a little close-up of the actual um, scene itself. That's gross. It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's so gross. You know, what, that's, you know what's interesting, though? It's gross, but that's also the times. That's, that's what it was. It's really unfortunate. We're so lucky to live in the age that we all live in, and we didn't have to dump our excrements outside. outside the window onto the streets. So thanks for that history history lesson. You always make us laugh with all the little details that you put in. Yeah. But yeah, you have three levels. You have the main floor, you have the bedroom, and then the third floor, which there's a bat. So we have three animals. You got a rat, a bat, and an owl at owl. the top. So, and of course he threw in his um, signature light. move, LED lights. Yeah, so, so smart. Time, good job. And who do we have last? Uh, yeah, we have Vicky, age 39, from Edmonton. This is the Crusader's Crypt. And this is, well, as it says, it's a crypt, so it's like a tomb. And we have our Crusader who has been laid to rest inside of it. So mm -hmm. I think that this, uh, yeah, so the cover is removable. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. I don't Either. know if it's attached. I don't think it's attached because oh, these are great pieces on the outside. So you can take it on, take it off, um, or they had it balanced in some way, shape, or form to keep it open. Either way, it's got playability to it. Right. The poor guy's been laid to rest, and it looks like his headstone is very bejeweled yeah. or encrusted. So this is probably somebody who was of high stature or who had a lot of wealth. I mean, to be able to afford to have such an elaborate tomb anyway, uh, it's uh, it would make sense. So. Not, not that it's, not that it's the same, but for some reason it reminds me of like King Theoden when you had to lay yeah, his I was son, that too. son to rest. Yeah, and maybe it's just like the beard and the helmet <laughs> uh, that sort yes. of, sort of makes me think that. I don't think that's exactly what Vicky was going for, mm -hmm. but I'll do anything to make Lord a Lord of the Rings reference. So that's sort of what I got from it. But overall, a very cool scene and a very sombering scene because mm -hmm. I mean, Dark Ages. There's a Death, famine, yep. sickness, war. There's just a lot going on. Like you had to sure. bury people. It sucks, but that's that's life. So very cool, very interesting build. And this was the last one from our series and for the theme this week, yes. which was Dark Ages. We hope you guys liked all those builds. Thank you for all the submissions that we received. To all the builders that we um, reviewed, thank you guys for taking the time to build for these contests. We know how hard it is. We know how hard this theme was. It was very tough, but you guys already know season two is tough. It's even tougher with this theme, Bump in the Night. Um, we hope you guys are enjoying these contests. Wait till next week. So, we lied, we actually do have oh, one more. One more. Sorry, we Wait. forgot. Okay, so this is actually something we wanted to talk about anyway. Sure. Uh, so Chris, maybe give him the heads up. So this is Yash, and he took a, a video for us. We don't often do videos for these type of uh, creators react, but um, we really suggest take, get sending us four photos at all times. Four and photos max. Exactly. Not mi minimum and max, just yeah. four photos. Just four photos, do the best you can, and good lighting. So lighting is really important with these photos so that we can actually see everything that's going on. With the video, give us a one minute video and we'll put it on our stories for everybody to check out. Yeah, so the video should only really be utilized for us to get a, a, a feel of what's going on that we can't see or if you wanna give some explanation. We're gonna play this one video, it'll be the last time we do it. So if you guys submit videos in the future, we aren't gonna be showing them. I think Chris even said that in the very first episode of this theme, yeah. but so we're gonna we're gonna play Yash's here for, for everybody. So the idea of this build is basically that there is a stronghold uh, on the beach, nice. Uh, which belongs to one empire. So here I have I built some little ships uh, mm. attacking the stronghold. Micro scale. But, uh, yeah. Luckily, the archers and gunmen here 
uh, uh, stop them. But they're in for a surprise because there are tentacles coming out. Is it friend wow. or foe? I don't know. All these warriors will need to find out. Yash, good storytelling. Cool. So yeah, Yash is a returning uh, champion. champion from us as well. In his last build, he did something very cool with micro scale, and he returned with micro scale with this one. Yeah. Well, it's funny because one of his other builds, I believe, in Sharp Teeth, he did have a shipwreck mm. that had tentacles coming yeah, out as well. That's so true. he's bringing it back. There's there he's, seems to be a story. He's like, got a, layers. I think, I think he's got a universe. I, I think he's got his own world. Yeah. Like. Even his original dragon that was flying yeah. and protecting the crystal would fit into this universe, I think. I think. So too. But yeah, that was it. That was all of our, our <laughs> submissions for real this time. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry for almost forgetting you, Yash. We didn't forget. It was just, yeah, sorry if we don't get this pictures, we just it's so much harder for us. But as Chris mentioned before, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you really like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys had any comments for any of the builders or for us, please leave it down in the comment section below. We want to read them. Yes. We want to reply to them. We want to talk to everybody. But yeah, from Creator Industries, I've been Chris. He's been calling. I've been <laughs> calling. I've Colin. been Chris. I don't even know why I'm We're done. Name. We can't talk anymore. We'll see you guys in the next video. This was fun. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>